Hello, this is Pastor Coleman Peacock from the West Ward Church of God bringing you another devotion. And I wanted to share something with you that I've learned from little Jimmy. And it's a concept in life that I think all of us need to learn. You see, little Jimmy lived in the same neighborhood as the neighborhood pastor. And each afternoon, the pastor would take a walk around the neighborhood getting his daily exercise and one day he was walking by Jimmy's house and he noticed it out in front Jimmy had his little lawnmower sitting out there and on an old cardboard uh, uh, sign it said for sale so pastor walked over to him he said hey Jimmy uh, I see you got your lawnmower for sale he said yes sir yes sir I, I I just need to make some money. He said, well, if you don't mind me asking, why are you selling your lawnmower? He said, well, I, I, I want a bicycle, Pastor. I really, really would like to have a bicycle. And uh, my, my, my mom and dad said, if I could sell this old mower, they've got a riding mower here for the house, and I use this one to mow lawns. And if I sold my lawnmower, then I could take that money and put it toward a bicycle. And Pastor looked at him. He said, well, Jimmy, does the lawnmower work? He said, oh, yes, sir. I've been mowing yards with it. He said, well, Jimmy, it just so happens that at my house, in my garage, I've got a bicycle that I really don't need anymore. I don't ride it, and I don't need it. And uh, But I could use a lawnmower to, to do trimming in my yard and around the house. Well, what do you say we work up a trade? your lawnmower for the bicycle. Of course, the pastor could see the doubt in Jimmy's eyes, uh, you know, about this transaction. He wasn't sure about it. He said, well, I tell you what, Jimmy, why don't you go with me right now and just pull your lawnmower. We'll walk around the neighborhood back around to my house and um, I'll go in and get that bicycle, let you look at it and see what you think about it. So they did and they talked, walked around to the pastor's house and Pastor went in and led up the garage and garage door and he brought out the bicycle and Jimmy's heart just leaped into his throat. I mean, that was a beautiful bike. It was exceptional. It looked like new. It was beautiful. And Pastor looked at Jimmy and said, well, Jimmy, what do you think? Do you think we might could work of a trade? And Jimmy said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think we could. He said, well, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll just push this lawnmower up into my garage and you take this bicycle and ride it back home, but you be very careful now. And Jimmy took off on that bike so proud, so happy. Well, come Saturday, the pastor thought, I need to get outside and uh, mow my lawn, do some trim work. So he went out and pulled out the old mower that Jimmy had traded him and he put gasoline in it, made sure it had oil. And he went to crank that thing and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled on that cord, did everything he knew to do. That mower wouldn't crank. So he pushed it back in and the next week he happened to be walking around the neighborhood again getting his daily exercise and here come Jimmy on that beautiful bike. And Jimmy was waving at him, hi pastor, and the pastor said, oh, hey Jimmy, how you like that bike? He said, Pastor, this is great. This bike is just fantastic. And Pastor said, well, I've been meaning to talk to you about that, Jimmy. I need to talk to you for a minute. He said, I thought you said that mower worked. He said, I tried Saturday everything that I knew to do, and I could not get that mower to crank. And Jimmy said, oh, Pastor, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to tell you that sometime when you go to crank that on more, you have to cuss at it. And the pastor said, well, Jimmy, <laughs> cuss at it? I don't cuss, Jimmy. When the Lord saved me, you know, many years ago, I gave all that up. He said, Jimmy, I don't even remember how to cuss. I don't use that kind of language. Jimmy looked at him and said, Pastor, that's all right. Don't worry about it. It's okay. He said, you just keep pulling that cord long enough and it'll all come back to you. Well, 
that may seem a little humorous, but uh, uh, the, the lesson I learned there from a little Jimmy is something that all of us need to learn. And that is we need to stop pulling the old cords. You see, whenever Jesus saves us, Paul tells us in the Corinthians, he said, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new cre creation, a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And we don't look back at those old things. Now, maybe the Lord delivered you from, uh, from alcoholism. Now, you would not want to go hang around bars or people who drank because that would be so tempting. You keep pulling that cord, those old ways will come back to you. And maybe the Lord uh, delivered you from lying, cheating, stealing, whatever. But whenever the Lord delivered you, you became a new creature. You don't go back looking at those old ways and you don't hang around people who still do those things because if you pull that cord long enough, those old ways will come back to you. So that tells us a lot about what we need to do. And the next time the devil reminds you of your past, you just remind him of his future. May you have a great day in the Lord. May God bless you tremendously. And as you go through the day, just remember, you're a new t creature in Christ. Don't be pulling those old cords.